We're going to continue talking about hepatic physiology, and we're going to focus on biotransformation within the liver or the hepatocytes. And the biotransformation occurs through phase one and phase two reactions within the hepatocytes. And we can think of the phase one reactions as an attempt to inactivate certain molecules. And once these certain molecules are inactive, phase two reactions attempts to make these inactive compounds more water soluble so that they can ultimately be excreted via the kidneys via the urine. So if we look at the phase one reactions, we can say that the phase one reactions occur through enzymes, for example, the cytochrome P450 and certain oxidases, which are enzymes that promote oxidation, reduction, the deamination, and the various other processes in order to inactivate certain molecular structures or compounds. And then the phase two reactions occurs through the process of conjugation in which certain elements or certain compounds are added to the inactive molecule, such as glucuronide, sulfate, taurine, and glycine are added to certain inactive molecules which increase the water solubility so that these water soluble compounds can be excreted via the kidneys through the urine. Some interesting facts to look at are certain drugs can actually stimulate or inhibit the cytochrome P450. For example, barbiturates, ethanol, benzodiazepines, primarily diazepam, and ketamine can stimulate the cytochrome P450 in which it increases the tolerance in which patients taking these medications may require a higher dosage of medications that rely on the cytochrome P450 to inactivate certain compounds. Likewise, certain drugs inhibit the cytochrome P450. For example, cimetidine and chloramphenicol inhibit the cytochrome P450 and therefore increase the sensitivity or make patients more sensitive to certain drugs that rely on the cytochrome P450 to inactivate certain molecules or certain compounds. We can look at the biotransformation as a series of steps of phase one and phase two in order to inactivate certain compounds and to make the compounds more water soluble and therefore be excreted via the kidneys.